So Tamra, Tamra brings great memories. We drove in. It was an amazing, magical entry. There is greenery, there are waterfalls, there is a lot of flowers, and the very process of getting into Tamra, sinking in, slowly starts winding you down. Within the next 15, 20 minutes, you are completely submerged in a different reality. You head out to the cottages, which are so beautiful. You open, you get inside, and all of a sudden, the deck in front sort of invites you. You go to the deck, you stand there, and you are overlooking a hanging area, overlooking into long green trees. Maybe they are rosewood, I don't know, but they are beautiful trees. And it's green, you can hear the birds. And the beauty of it, it is, it is so quiet that you can hear yourself breathe. You start relaxing, the rooms are beautiful, very tastefully done, very gracefully done. And slowly you start soaking into the spirit of Tamra. In the evenings, when you walk out and you go down the different hilly areas, these cottages are located in beautiful, uh, so to say, plains or levels. As you go through the levels, you can feel the air thinning out. You can feel the coolness of the breeze. You can feel the freshness of the trees around you. It's a great walk to just go up and down. And then the whole property is full of so many surprises. You walk and suddenly you land into a sort of a stream of water. And then you realize, oh, this is the place where you can come tomorrow morning for a great yoga lesson. It's a flat area, beautifully surrounded by amazing uh, greenery and natural sort of designs. And you feel that, yes, if you wanted to uh, feel at home and relaxed, this would be a great place to be. You come back uh, and then you sort of find yourself uh, longing to relax in the evening. And there's this place called deck and you, so you go to the deck and suddenly you are surprised because there's a glass floor. It's quite a marvel to be at the deck, to interact with the people. I must tell you, the people at Tamra are an amazing asset of Tamra because it's not only the greenery, the nature, but the people who are around you, who are taking care of you, whether it's the food, whether it's the room, whether it's the experience of going in. Everyone is calm, everyone is smiling, everyone is so graceful that you feel very much at home. You spend an evening at deck, you come back to your room, you relax and, and then slowly the night sets in and you realize how peaceful uh, the entire place is. The day begins early um, because uh, it's so fresh, it's so clean, you get up all revitalized. And the amazing thing uh, that I remember uh, very clearly is to go for bird watching. And so we go into these woods and we are spotting birds uh, and we are trying to look at the different species and the person who comes with you is giving you nice little tips and tricks in a very jovial way. It's a very fun filled engagement, it's a very fun filled activity. You have to be quiet and giggling at the same time and that doesn't happen too often in our lives. If you are a big coffee aficionado then you go to this coffee place where you sit down and you can feel the coffee sort of move from the solid to the liquid state as they call it which means the beans and the entire processing and the creation of the coffee and the smell and the experience of it it is just amazing. I think um, it's a lifetime experience one should go and be at Tamra because you never visit Tamra you have to be at Tamra you have to let, let yourself be in the spirit of the place uh, feel the nature, spices, green wood, rudraksh, birds, all of it in its natural habitat. Uh, the people warm and caring around you and if you ever go to Tamra, like I have not forgotten every, any minute of it, you will never forget a minute of it, I can assure you that.